the Song of Moses, a prayer of St. G. There is a charm of the sacred scriptures, more easily felt than described. Thus we find a closet in the fields or woods or shore in which to withdraw our scattered minds and to lean our heart toward the speaking bosom of the Father. It is like the clear shining after rain when the sun rises, a morning without clouds, For that all that is written is difficult to understand, but no void attaches. It will dwell in our blood and bowels. There are strange leaps from vision to vision, yet in all, however were we to follow the mind of God. The dissonances of the many prophecies of woe resolve themselves to harmony in the prophecies of promise given to us. The light of the future shines out. It is to this end thing we must attach. Is all now difficult? There is glory in the latter days. Of the prophets all, the furthest idea is the choicest. And so it is for us. We put our mind on the far things where lie your promises. You spoke to these as to us, so that we begin to understand that the possession of you yourself is the end and satisfaction of our life, the reason to be, the very purpose of all the universe. Take away all iniquity is now our cry, that which is within us and that which crouches all about us. The clouds part and we begin to enjoy you, even here in this lower world. We have no idols, we are not orphans, but are your adopted children heirs to all things by the life and death of Jesus, the Son of God. You, the dew of Israel, the roots of Lebanon, blossoming as the lilies of the field, whole with grain and olives and the fruits of the vine found in you. You, the all-sufficient one, ever blessed in your own being, make yourself an object to be bestowed upon your creatures. We, under the shower of your love, a thousand times, and ten thousand times ten thousand, all our days which do not end. We are taken into the immediate, intimate circle of your own life and blessedness. All your resources serve as our delight, a river of pleasures from your right hand. We thought to be in service to you, yet here you are in ours. Though we cannot speak of all your powers, You enter us with heart and soul and mind and strength. In life are ascribed to you disinterest, unaware that all your interest is upon us, and why we do not know. But it is as you have said. We will arrive to an exultant state, the supreme feast and Sabbath of the souls. Useless shall be have been this oil of gladness, without we put on ashes to our head to lead us out of sin. Our redemption comes with penitence and pain. All the natural religions of history chant the same. We come in sacrifice and repression before our gods. Even the bitter herbs of our deliverance will bring us joy. Sin invaded our very core of religious joy against its nature. Yet a greater joy is redemption Our life in Christ is a further life than was the unsinned Adam's. These religions, natural to a man's being, could not anticipate or dream that God the Lord shall open up yourself to us and surrender to us your inner life as our possession. In saving us more so than in creating us, you show yourself God. All richly given to us, though we pass through poverty, and abject life to come to the overwhelming experience of salvation. Did all the sons of God and the morning stars sing together for joy at the creation? Even more exultant is the song of Moses and the Lamb. Your word given to us was the promise of salvation. How shall any life be whole without the knowledge of this? There was history as a whole, within it the history of Israel, and now there is us. 
How shall we have become so important to you? It is a transaction between the Father and the Son. We are given to you, won by you, as your inheritance. You say to Israel, I remember you for the kindnesses of your youth, the love shown in your espousals to me, going after me in the wilderness of land and of life, a land that was not sown. Then faithlessness and indifference. Yet there is the Israel of us, the chosen and redeemed. For a time you withdrew, even divorced your people. But it is the remnant you desired, a suffered people, now in all gladness at our salvation. All praise to the mercy and love of the great Lord of heaven and earth. We shall never have heard you, but did. Never have loved you, but do. Never have expected that all gladness of the universe shall come to us. Amen.